you, ladies and gentlemen. This contest is a title contest for the World Heavy Middleweight Championship and Belt to be fought over 15 three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout decides the winner. Introducing in the red corner the champion from Manchester, Mark Rollerball Rocker. The challenger in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen, the Dynamite Kid. 15 three minute rounds. At the weigh in today, Rocco weighed 13 stone, 5 pounds. The Dynamite Kid weighed in at 13 stone, 2 pounds. Gentlemen, centre of the ring, please, referee. So both just under the 13 5 hey, upper limit. The rules. Two problems, automatic disqualification. Fifteen three-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this world heavy middleweight title. Well done, the men's wrestling. Uh, the holder, Mark Rocco of Manchester, the heavy middleweight champion of the world at 13 stone five. His opponent, the Dynamite Kid, now wrestling out of Canada. But of course, originally from Goldborn near Warrington at 13 2. The challenger, Dynamite Kid, the, the champion, Mark Rocco, easily identifiable with his name right down the sides of his uh, wrestling gear. And he's up against a strong boy. It's his first defense of his title. Press. And Max Ward, the referee, is going to have to watch Rocco's tricks very closely here. <laughs> Double wrist lock position, but the hand instead of the wrist. <laughs> Turned out of it almost before he was in it, the kid. One minute to go, first round. Figure four head scissors finishes. There it is. The right instep, right behind the left calf. Locking that head really tight. Five seconds left. <laughs> Caught that beautiful throw just on the bell. Let's have a look at this uh, dynamite kid. There's one man Rocco will have a problem staying with and holding his number one position in the weight bracket, and that is this fellow. 
And he's got problems today, all right. Seconds away, round two. Round two, 14 rounds to go. Three minute round. Yeah. Two balls to the side. Yeah. Rocco with the stars right yeah. around his chest. Yeah. Going for an early unlock. Attacking on his other neck, but he picks him up. Illegal, perfectly legal, that. Crutch hold, slam to Rocco, reverse double knee hold. The knee has grabbed his neck. Semi jab strangle hold, Rocco. Unwound him in time to body check. Pull on body check. So good at those. He's going to try another. There's the unwind. And this time he was waiting for him. The kid was waiting for it. Flying tackle by Ted over the top cross press. following that uh, illegal foot in the face. And that caught the kid's left eye, obviously, where he's uh, Just a minute left, and what a posting. High monkey climb, but so high the kid lands on his feet, and a nice drop kick from him. Out goes Rocco. It's a way to get in quickly. Time to get a forearm smash. 40 seconds. Oh, I hope this is not going to develop into a forearm smash. Back over the road of mist. A bit late. But Max Ward lets it go. He's been almost part of the same move. A little bit late, though. Just five seconds to go. Well, we saw... Uh, the dynamite kid give this boy, Mark Rocco, a murderous beating at Oldham on December the 19th of Fort Christmas. And the question is, will the dynamite repeat his performance here today before flying out? He leaves any date now, taking the belt with him. That is the question. Seconds away, round three. Rocco's really been training for this one. The last time they met on December the 19th, when I was talking about, you may remember that Rocco had had a... Uh, a pretty badly cut up leg when he entered the ring. He only 10 days before he had 24 stitches in his leg. And that's what we're doing much good. That's the man is just covering it now. Well, he was a heck of a gash. He caught on the uh, hook of the corner. And the kid must know this, going for that right knee now. Watch him, watch him. 